How are we gorgeous humans today? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So I want to quickly uh, bring to your attention um, a topic that, not a topic, but a paradigm that I have remembered <laughs> that is very, very predominant in our um, collective society. And it is, you know, your ability to open up. It's your ability to be vulnerable, right? So what brought uh, this again, this topic to my attention is one of our members within the Leaders of Life Collective, um, she shared that one of our previous uh, monthly coaching calls where she got pretty vulnerable uh, triggered within her uh, things like shame, you know, feeling, um, you know, like a, not a fraud, but, you know, all of those things like, oh my God, I'm sharing all of this. And then people on a replay will hear all of my stuff and so on and so forth, right? I, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. And I want to share this with you because in our society, we, not we, but most of the people try to pretend and try to make it look like that everyone has their shit together, that everything is perfect. And not just, just in general, it takes, you know, guts to open up and be vulnerable about what you're going through, what you're experiencing and ask people for help. But in society, Sorry, I'm just switching my arms. But in society where we are conditioned to be perfect and, you know, th that if you ask for help, you are weak. If you get emotional, it means weakness and so on and so forth. It is even harder to get vulnerable. So uh, I want to share with you because this because being vulnerable and opening my heart has been a huge part of my journey. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know that's the conditioning I experienced in, in the past. Even when I was a, as a child, if I would see my mom crying <laughs> when she's watching an emotional movie, I would judge her and I will say, get your shit together, it's just a movie. <laughs> and you know, like, of course, it's just a movie. But the thing was, even as a child, I was, you know, conditioned, one, by uh, society, two, by school, and three, most probably there's stuff from my past lifetimes, that I was so triggered and not accepting other people's emotions, uh, it, it made me uncomfortable. Hence, I would never show my emotions. I will not even consider myself that I will I will be able to get emotional, forget about, get vulnerable and ask somebody for help. Never, right? So I want to share this with you uh, because ability to be vulnerable and open up is something that massively is able to change your life, your experience of life and how free you feel uh living your daily life because most of the people go day every day of their life feeling that they are alone feeling disconnected feeling that they are uh they cannot make mistake that other people will judge them living under that kind of pressure 24 and 7 365 days a year is extremely exhausting and i want to share with you that this paradigm that you cannot, or it's bad, or it's vulnerable, um, and not, not vulnerable, it's weak to be vulnerable, is completely, like, so outdated, so broken. I want you to know that there's absolutely nothing, 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 nothing wrong with experiencing darkness. There's absolutely nothing with going through highs and lows. That's one. Two, absolutely nothing wrong with getting vulnerable and showing your deepest corners to other people, to open your heart, to drop all of your masks and, and, and just, you know, 
cry and ask for help. Because if I would not, you know, confront and become aware of this paradigm that was holding me down, I will not be able to do what I do now and hold space for other people without judgment. But first, I had to learn that it's completely normal and also human <laughs> to feel emotions, to have emotions. Uh, so f Justin is an example. Um, I think it was in 2018 when I just started going, uh, like learning this lesson of vulnerability. And at that time I was living in Bali and I went to attend one of my first like um, workshops or events that had to do like, you know, with emotional intelligence, healing, understanding deeper parts of yourself. And we had to write down like what we are afraid of, something like this. I don't even remember what it was, but we had to write it down. And then in a circle, we had to read it aloud to other people. And you know what? Me, the biggest piece of biggest takeaway that I had from that moment was not even me sharing. I remember I was freaking so afraid, so scared, um, but I did it and I pushed it through. Uh, but the biggest takeaway for me that moment was seeing a guy who was sharing something vulnerably about his life and starting to cry. In that moment, like my something shifted in my mind when I understood, holy moly, like I'm not alone who feels vulnerable, who fix, feels sometimes, you know, I need help, support, I need guidance. And it just was incredible how much support he received. And, you know, no one judged him. Everyone was so open. And uh, it just, for me, completely opened up a doorway into a completely new reality from which I started to learn how to open up, how to share, you know, and <laughs> over the years of my healing, like I've cried so many times on coaching calls, on group call calls. Uh, I've cried on a stage <laughs> in front of 100 people, you know, sharing some stuff from my childhood about my business and so on and so forth. But I want you to know, the more you do stuff like this, the more you realize and you understand that no one is gonna judge you that it's completely normal and that you are welcome to be in this way and you are safe to be seen heard and understood what i want to add of course is that um you know make sure that you are doing it in a safe environment not just opening your heart uh to people who are not capable of holding space they just don't have that emotional capacity so it's very important to surround yourself with people who have worked on themselves and have that emotional capacity right this is why i've created leaders of like collective a safe space for people to open up um, without judgment so that we can work through the stuff right uh, because you don't want to be opening your heart uh if you are already, you know, it's already challenging and then you open up your heart to somebody who is not able to see you for who you are and just going to project onto you and, you know, at the end will reject you and judge you, that will shut you down even more. But I want you to know that that's not normal. <laughs> that's not healthy. In our society, normal is judgmental, critical, suppressed, depressed, <laughs> right? So don't try to be as our society. Our society is freaking sick. I, I mean it. You know, the, I mean, normal, right? Go to the job, ignore your feelings, try to buy stuff that you don't need, uh, you know, try to look that you or your life is perfect. Who needs that crap? Who needs that surface level when you deep down inside you're suffering and you're alone? I want you to know that your natural way of being is being open. It, you know, vulnerability will not even exist if you are just allow yourself to be. 
be seen, heard, and understood. So I want you to know if you have experienced conditioning and, you know, part of your reality have been, you know, suppressing yourself, hiding your emotions, holding yourself back from truly feeling, I want you to know that that, that is just one timeline. That's only one perspective of hundred million thousands, <laughs> whatever the you know infinite number of realities that you can experience. So I invite you to dive deeper and you know start thinking like, hey, do I need space uh, to be heard to be seen? Because you know that's what I share with that member of ours in the Leaders of Light Collective. That now as she realizes, hey, it's safe for me to uh, share. It's safe for me to open up in this container and with this group and I will not be judged. She now realizes the illusion of the life, of the reality she experienced in the past. That there are other ways of living where she can be safe, where she can be ex express herself and where she will receive support. So I want you guys to, you know, if you take away anything from this video, is that there are infinite realities and possibilities how you can experience life. Don't think that which you experience or have experienced till this point is just set in stone. Absolutely no. Uh, you know, there are hundreds, hundreds other ways of being. And if you want to express yourself and be seen and be, you know, and receive support, you just need to surround yourself with the right people who will, you know, be able to hold space for yourself, uh, for you. But of course, it always starts with you, you being able to hold space for yourself, because uh, even if we bring it back to, you know, our member, she shared with us everything that she went through on her own. She was able to observe her triggers herself. She was able to guide herself by being open and vulnerable with herself, right? And then she just came back and reflected it back in the group. So always vulnerability and anything starts with reflection, uh, relationship within yourself and the external, just the reflection. All right, my love, so I want you to know that being vulnerable, being open, asking for help is not something to be ashamed of or bad it's actually our society that is freaking sick <laughs> and is running on a complete autopilot and programs and conditioning that do not serve their human being so do not try to uh, be that way if it doesn't make you fulfilled and makes you unhappy why would you do that just get honest with yourself what's the way what what do I need now? What my human needs now? Do I need support? Do I need to cry? Do I need to dance? And then you just go and do it. And if it involves other people, then you go and find like-minded people who will be able to guide you and support you in that, what you're working towards, right? All right, I wanted to make it quick, but as always, uh, you know, downloads are coming through. Uh, so if this was helpful to you, please uh, give a like uh, to this video, uh, you know, this is my perspective, this is my take, this is how I choose to experience reality, you know, this is how I show up and share with my clients as well, and obviously online, but I would also love to hear your opinion, uh, what do you think, what is vulnerability, how, what's your relationship with vulnerability with yourself, right, so leave down a comment below, share this video with somebody who will benefit from it, and I'm sending you all my love and we'll talk soon. Bye.